Osteo Malaysia. Osteo Malaysia is a weakening of the bones, most often caused by severe vitamin D deficiency. This condition can affect people of all ages. Rickets is a condition that affects bone development in children. It causes bone pain, poor growth, and soft, weak bones that can lead to bone deformities. Adults can experience a similar condition which is known as osteomalacia or soft bones. The softened bones of children and young adults with osteomalacia might lead to bowing or bending during growth, particularly in weight-bearing bones of the legs. Causes Possible causes include lack of phosphate levels in the body, celiac disease. It's an autoimmune condition in which the consumption of foods containing gluten damages intestinal lining thereby hindering the absorption of vitamin D. Kidney and liver disorders, genetic factors, vitamin D deficiency. Vitamin D deficiency can result from a problem with your diet. Low dietary vitamin D intake like cow's milk, dairy products and fish. Lack of sun exposure. Sunlight generates vitamin D in your skin. The chances suffering from osteomalacia is highest in people who have limited sun exposure. Who live in areas where sunlight is limited can develop osteomalacia. Certain surgeries involving the stomach, certain medical conditions and some medications can cause severe vitamin D deficiency. Symptoms During the early stages of osteomalacia, patients may have no symptoms although some signs may be seen on x-rays or other diagnostic tests. An osteomalacia advances symptoms develop. Symptoms include diffuse pain in the bone and muscle weakness, dull aching pain in the lower back, pelvis, hips, legs and ribs, muscle weakness, difficulty in walking, weak soft bones, easy fracturing of the bones, decreased muscle tone and leg weakness can cause a waddling gait and make walking slower and more difficult, hypocalcemia, some individuals may not have any symptoms. Diagnosis Osteomalacia can be difficult to diagnose. The first step in diagnosing osteomalacia is to understand the patient's family history and daily diet. To rule out the reason of your symptoms, you may undergo one or more of the following tests. Blood and urine tests. These tests help doctors to identify low levels of vitamin D and problems with calcium and phosphorus. A serum 25 hydroxyvitamin D level should be taken in any individual with limited or no sun exposure, decreased vitamin D intake or unexplained muscle weakness or pain. Your healthcare provider may also test you for alkaline phosphatase, isoenzymes and parathyroid hormone. High levels of parathyroid hormones and alkaline phosphatase indicate osteomalacia. They might also use x-rays and bone density tests to aid the diagnosis. Bone biopsy. Using general anesthesia, a surgeon inserts a thin needle through your skin and into your pelvic bone above the hip to extract a small sample of bone. Usually an x-ray and blood tests often detect osteomalacia. Bone biopsy is rarely needed to make the diagnosis. Treatment. One of the most important aspects of osteomalacia treatment is to make sure that a person gets the levels of nutrients they need to support the bone mineralization process. If your healthcare provider detects osteomalacia early, you may only need to take therapeutic dosages of oral supplements such as vitamin D, calcium or phosphate. Luckily, getting adequate vitamin D through oral supplements for some weeks to months might cure osteomalacia. To maintain normal blood levels of vitamin D, you will likely have to continue taking the supplements. You may also need to spend some time outdoors in sunlight while taking precautions to avoid damage from the sun, eating a healthy diet, regular exercise, limiting intake of alcohol and quitting smoking. Treating conditions that affect vitamin D metabolism like kidney and liver disease or Low phosphate levels usually helps improve the signs and symptoms of osteomalacia. Children with severe cases of osteomalacia or rickets may have to wear braces or have surgery to correct bone deformation. Complications Without treatment, the symptoms of osteomalacia can worsen. If you have osteomalacia, you are more likely to break bones, especially those in your ribs, spine and legs. 
also in children osteo malaysia and rickets often occur together which can lead to bowing of the legs or premature tooth loss symptoms can return if not enough vitamin d is available they will also return if you stop taking supplements or if you don't address underlying conditions like kidney failure prevention there are certain preventive measures one can take such as eating adequate dairy products that have been fortified with vitamin d and by getting enough sunlight eat foods rich in vitamin d such as eggs fish bread milk yogurt and cheese supplements are recommended for people who do not get enough vitamin d from diet if you don't get enough vitamins and minerals in your diet or if you have a medical condition that keeps your digestive system from absorbing nutrients properly ask your doctor about taking vitamin d and calcium supplements exposure to sunlight to absorb greater amounts of vitamin d 15 minutes per day is generally considered sufficient while further exposure requires sun protection with clothing or sunscreens unprotected sun exposure can increase your risk of skin cancer outlook the outlook for people with osteomalacia is very good when they receive treatment although it can take months to make a complete recovery there are various treatment options available to help manage the conditions you may see improvements in a few weeks if you increase your intake of vitamin d calcium and phosphorus complete healing of the bones takes about 6 months if left untreated osteomalacia can lead to broken bones and severe deformity thank you